So let me now go ahead and create a mapping. Right click on the mapping, select new mapping. So first mapping. Our first map you can create a description out here. So create a empty data set. Leave it with the default option. You can of course choose it out and choose your data set later. So from now onwards we will face, I will face actually more questions from you. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Now it's a drag and drop. Technology has made us dumb, but of course we, if we don't know good SQL, we don't know DI. So this is my target. I drag it onto this side. It's clearly mentioned that drop sources in this area. So this is the empty data set which Oracle has created. You can drag uh, sources without the data sets also, but uh, in case you, if you have different sets of data coming from different sources and you want to do union and all those operations. So in that case, set based operations will be useful for you. And um, let's now proceed with our simple example. Okay, so we have our employee table and we have our department table. Now, just before dragging department, I'll show you that um, when we reverse engineered employee and department from the database, the constraints which are predefined in database they get imported okay so the PKFK relationship between employee and department has been brought into the metadata of ODI so as we drag department it's because the join will be out. database yes. uh, primary key and foreign key exactly the exactly exactly over. yes exactly that's why they came over and as I drag department you see the join between them gets created automatically. So if you don't have a, a database defined primary and a foreign key what happens then? What happens then is that it will this thing will disappear. Okay so can we create though? Yes of course we will create them. Okay. Also okay. Uh, say if we have uh, different tables from different sources. Yeah, you can drag them in. Yes, in the same same data set you can drag. No issues. And, and if there is no primary key, or no problem. Would be any primary key? I mean, <laughs> no problem. Okay, so let's try out this example. Before dragging, let's delete all the things created blank tables without any constraints. So if I delete the constraints from here, it just gets deleted from ODI's metadata. It does not reflect anything in our actual database constraints. They remain as it is. Only my ODI metadata gets less enriched. Okay, so let's drag now employee and let's drag department. You see the join my join is not appearing all the primary keys are not getting marked right okay so there's something called view search so all these things are much simpler in 11G and all those things. With every release, or ODI is changing the look and feel, and things are getting, I mean, difficult for us who were old timers in ODI. So all the UIs, all the look and feel, everything gets changed, and we have to know it again from buttons that, okay, now it is here. So, bit problematic for me. So, let's see, this is the properties panel. If you see on click on employee, it will display uh, display you all the attributes. So you see there are no primary keys. There you will see no constraints, right? Because I have deleted everything. No constraints. So is it a generalizing thing? No, it's not a generalized thing. We keep it as it is. 
this is by default it comes okay now the information about EMP table where EMP table is coming from yeah it is coming from source MDL it's connected to a logical schema LG source the actual physical schema is Scott and it's a data store you see all the inherent information from EMP comes along similarly that's for department and for EMP replica also okay so that's about it now let's join let's create a join so ODI has included some panels so these are the things it has ODI 12C has borrowed from uh, OWB 11 OWB so OWB had some operators like join and all those things um, I personally don't use them because I am used to the old style of ODI so let's join it in the old style of ODI of course I could have dragged the join from here okay let's see and placed it here but I prefer doing it like this department number to department number just do it like this so whenever you want to do that uh, it's a lookup or a join of course this is a join so it creates a join okay so this is an active join if you don't want to imply the join make it inactive join source order that means EMP will be joined to department condition if you go so default dot EMP dot EMP number what is default default is the name of the set data set okay in which it is belonging okay now let's select the join again and observe the properties so this is the inner join as you can see if I had to select like all rows of EMP should come irrespective of department exists or not it would have been a left outer join or a right outer join vice versa or a full outer join or if everything M into N rows if it is so that's a cross join so you can choose the join type okay so join order if you have two or three tables here okay so in that case if you want to sp specify that this join should happen first and this join should happen after this one so join order by default comes uh, in comes into increments of 10 so that if you have multiple joins you will see 10 20 so the one which is uh, having the least join order they will get executed first followed by the uh, one which is specified next so that's a join order that's how we specify join orders here okay so filters they have kept components so uh, I mean I really don't find um, I mean they're interesting because we had other ways to do it so if I want to place a filter say a department name is research I just drag it here it creates the same filter object here okay 